The first step to analyse any data with GenStat is to import the data. You can import data in a variety of formats such as spreadsheets, database formats and simple text files. GenStat comes with a large set of example data files that you can practice with. We're going to open a Microsoft Excel file called bacteria.xls. From the menu, select File, Open. If you install GenStat in the default location, you will find the bacteria.xls file here. See, Program Files, Gen19ED, Data. This folder shows Gen19ED because I'm running GenStat version 19. If you are running a different version of GenStat, this number will also be different. From the drop-down list, select Other Spreadsheet Files. This is the file we want, bacteria.xls. Double-click this file to import it into GenStat. This import window shows there are two worksheets in the Excel file. Worksheets are prefixed by the letter S. There is also one named range, prefixed by the letter R. The worksheet we want to import is already highlighted, so leave all settings at their defaults and click Finish. The data values are a set of counts from an experiment. This second column contains category data. The red exclamation mark specifies that this column will be imported as a factor. Right now, we are viewing the data, but we haven't loaded it into the GenStat server yet. To load the data, simply click outside the spreadsheet. You can check that the data has loaded by moving to the Navigator panel and double-clicking All Data. If the Navigator shows Output instead of Data, move to the bottom and click the Data tab. Then move back up and double-click All Data. These data structures show us that the spreadsheet columns have successfully loaded into the GenStat server.